Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Good evening. Good evening, Father. Welcome as we um, gather for Mass. Today we celebrate the, the vigil or the, the solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord. Jesus is manifest or made known. Um, and so we seek to unite in prayer as we come to offer our gifts to the Lord. Conscious of sin and darkness, we prepare for these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sin and asking God for forgiveness. Lord Jesus, you came to gather the nations into the peace of God's kingdom. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you come in word and sacrament to strengthen us in holiness. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you bring light to those in darkness. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Splendor of your majesty, O Lord, we pray, shed its light upon our hearts, that we may pass through the shadows of this world and reach the brightness of our eternal home. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem, your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, and thick clouds cover the peoples. But upon you the Lord shines, and over you appears his glory. Nations shall walk by your light, and your kings by your shining radiance. Raise your eyes. 
and look about. They all gather and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters in the arms of their nurses. Then you shall be radiant at what you see. Your heart shall throb and overflow. For the riches of the sea shall be emptied out before you. The wealth of nations shall be brought to you. Caravans of camels shall fill you. Dromedaries from Midian and Ephah, all from Sheba, shall come, bearing gold and frankincense and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. St. Paul to the Ephesians. Brothers and sisters, you have heard of the stewardship of God's grace that was given to me for your benefit, namely that the mysteries was made known to me by revelation. It was not made known to people in other generations as it has now been revealed to his holy apostles and prophets by the Spirit that the Gentiles are co-heirs, members of the same body, and co-partners in the promise in Christ Jesus through the gospel. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
I don't know if anybody saw me. Or like, gee, what's Father doing walking around in the middle of the night? <laughs> but so, 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 so eventually, they got to a spot where it was sort of open and some stars and all that. And I think I, I uh, saw what looked like sort of an unusually bright sort of appearance in the sky. It, it certainly wasn't one of those earth-shaking kind of revelations or experiences. But it also led me to, to think about the Magi, people from a far different time who studied the night sky. They would certainly have noticed something different about this bright light. In ancient times, it was believed that stars were signs from God announcing important events. And as the scriptures tell us, the Magi followed the star, which led them to Christ, the newborn king. Certainly, it was an important event for them and for the whole world. When we hear of, of Epiphany, we of course think of this event about the Magi following the star and um, how, how it um, led them to Jesus, where they present their gifts to him. The tradition of the church actually speaks about a number of epiphanies, or ways that Jesus is revealed. So um, just even around this time of the Christmas celebration, we might think of the angels revealing the birth of Jesus to the shepherds, or we think about the appearance to the Magi for these Gentiles, or um, next weekend we'll celebrate the baptism of the Lord, that's another one that's referred to as an epiphany, where as Jesus is baptized by John in the Jordan River, the voice from heaven proclaims, this is my beloved son, listen to him. Or even a fourth one is at the wedding feast of Cana, the first miracle that Jesus performs in John's gospel. And it's where his divine power is shown in this miracle of changing the water into wine. Today we celebrate the wonderful ways that Jesus is revealed as the true light of the world. Hopefully these biblical accounts inspire us. Hopefully we also have had experiences where Jesus is made known to us in the scriptures, in our prayers, in participation at mass, in nature, in other people, and in so many other ways. Jesus is truly our source of hope and inspiration. He is the one who guides us in the ways of God and offers us everlasting peace. In the first reading, as we heard from the prophet Isaiah, it says, Rise up in splendor, Jerusalem. Your light has come. The glory of the Lord shines upon you. This um, comes from the last section of the book of, of Isaiah. The Israelites at this time are being released from their time of captivity in Babylon. They are permitted to return to their native land. And as this passage expresses, all people and nations will be drawn to them not because they built some grand city, not because they have many worldly resources and treasures, not because they're inspiring by their knowledge of world dominance and power, but all of these people and nations will be drawn to them because of the great light that they want to have for, for others, because of their faithfulness to the ways of God. This continues to be an important message, I think, for us. Certainly, we need to be diligent in our work about worldly responsibilities. However, it remains of supreme importance for us to be attentive to God and to offer our homage and worship to Him. In the Gospel from Matthew, as we follow the journey of the Magi, they encountered King Herod. We hear three basic responses to the news of the birth of this newborn king. We see in the Magi those who understand the importance of Jesus and make great efforts to be led to Him where they can offer their gifts to him. We see the response of the chief priests and the scribes that Matthew tells us about King Herod, that he had assembled all the chief priests and scribes. He inquired of them where this Christ, this uh, newborn king, was to be born. And, and, and they're able to respond. In Bethlehem of Judea, the chief priests and scribes, and scribes were able to quote the scripture passage that explained this. Yet not one of them makes an effort to go and pay homage to him. So kind of that, that, that response of indifference or who cares. And then we see the response of King Herod, the one who doesn't want to know where Jesus was born to go and pay him homage, but out of hatred wants to go and kill him because somehow he might be a threat to his worldly power. Each of us needs to consider which group are we in. Hopefully, at least most of the time, we're in the, in the group of the Magi, those who make some effort to follow the signs of God that God gives us and encounter our Lord and Savior. As we are at the beginning of the new year, hopefully all of us are thinking about 
how we can be more devoted to God in this year. How can we um, live in, in this light of the Lord and even be a light for others? Allow me to share another story about a fourth wise man. I found it especially pertinent in our experiences these days. So it's a story about um, Artaban, about his gift. So the story is called The Other Wise Man. It was by a, a, a man, Henry Van Dyke. It's about a, 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 this fourth man who is supposed to accompany the other three wise men on their journey to search for the newborn king. The fourth wise man is Artaban. As Artaban prepares for the journey, he takes with him a bag of precious stones to give to the baby Jesus. On his way to join the other three wise men, Artaban stops to help a poor person. The delay is just enough to make him miss his rendezvous with the others. Artaban never does catch up with them. He constantly runs into people who need help, and he always stops to help them. Eventually, Artaban gives, uh, gives away all his precious stones, and as the story ends, Artaban is old and poor. He has never realized his dream to meet the king of kings. But the story doesn't end there. One day, Artaban is in Jerusalem. Authorities are about to execute a criminal. When Artaban sees the criminal, his heart skips a beat. Something tells him that this is the king of kings for whom he had been searching all of his life. Artaban is heartbroken when he, when he sees he can do nothing to help the king. Then something remarkable happens. Artaban hears the king's voice say to him, Don't be brokenhearted, Artaban. You're, you, you've been helping me all your life. When I was hungry, you gave me food. When I was thirsty, you gave me drink. When I was naked, you clothed me. When I was a stranger, you took me in. So today, on the solemnity of the Epiphany of the Lord, we celebrate the ways that Jesus has been revealed throughout the ages. We are especially grateful for the ways that Jesus has been revealed to us and the ways he inspires us to live the gospel message. May our efforts to discover Jesus allow us to be a source of light and a blessing to others. We profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only God and Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, not substantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified at the Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day, in accordance with the Scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. In Christ, the light of God shines on all the earth. With gratitude for the ways God enlightens our lives, we offer our needs and our prayers. Please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, 
and all bishops, priests, and religious. May they faithfully proclaim the good news of Jesus Christ and be a beacon of light for all the world. Let us pray. The Lord is our prayer. For our world leaders, may they grow in wisdom and use good judgment as they lead us into the new year. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For people of all nations, may they seek the truth of God, and by embracing a sincere love for others, may they become a source of inspiration. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who feel excluded from their families, their community, their country, or even from the church, May they experience reconciliation and acceptance. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the homeless, for migrants and rough refugees, and for those undergoing a journey to a new house, may they be kept safe and always know of the warm embrace of God. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For our community of faith, May we see Christ in our brothers and sisters in need, and readily offer our money, our prayers, and our compassion. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For all who are sick or suffering, may God's healing love come upon them and grant them comfort and blessing. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord hear our prayer. For those who have died, especially Don Rice, May all our deceased family members and loved ones share the eternal light of God in heaven. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. For the prayers written in the parish book of intentions and our personal prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. The Lord, hear our prayer. Gracious God, you call us to be a light shining in the darkness as we unite in faith and give thanks for your blessing in our lives. We humbly ask that you hear and answer our prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours 
may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for all of his holy church. As we accept, O Lord, our offer, accept, we pray, O Lord, our offerings in honor of the appearing of your only begotten Son and the first fruits of the nations, that to you praise may be rendered and eternal salvation be ours through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For today you have revealed the mystery of our salvation in Christ as a light for the nations. And when he appeared in our mortal nature, he made us new by the glory of his immortal nature. And so with angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, and with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Mm -hmm. so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you, by that same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me.
as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to the second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with this Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the blessed Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Michael, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant, Francis our Pope, and Daniel our Bishop, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world, to our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who are pleasing to you at their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter on my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Reminder uh, for receiving communion, um, we would ask that um, on the side aisles, both of them they receive only on the hand, um, on the center aisle they're free to receive on either the hand or the thumb.
Let us pray. Renewed by sacred nourishment, we humbly implore your mercy, O Lord, that the star of your justice may shine always bright in our minds, and that our true treasure may ever consist in our confession of you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just a few announcements. Reminder that now we um, sort of get back to more our regular schedule. So um, the Families of Faith, our um, CCP program, will resume this Wednesday from 6.30 to 7.45 meet in church and then um, divide out um, um, age groups. Also, uh, that um, will be live streamed or available online. So those who want to can join in that way. RCIA classes um, resume meeting. They meet on Sunday evenings. And if anybody that's interested, will uh, focus on the sacrament of matrimony. And, and then um, also a reminder that the 2021 um, envelopes and box, boxes of envelopes and, um, and 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 uh, calendars are available. Boxes of en envelopes are down here. Calendars are at the doors of the church. Mm -hmm. The Lord be with you and, and with your spirit. Bow down and pray for God's blessing. We join by responding. Amen. May God, who has called you out of darkness into His wonderful light, pour out in kindness His blessing upon you and make your hearts firm in faith, hope, and charity. Amen. Amen. And since in all confidence you follow Christ, who today appeared in the world as a light shining in darkness, may God make you too a light for your brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. And so when your pilgrimage is ended, may you come to him whom the page I sought by, by, as they followed the star, and whom they found with great joy, the light from light, who is Christ the Lord. Amen. Amen. And may the blessings of Almighty God, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, come Amen. down upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks be to God. Michael, the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do you, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the divine power, thrust into hell, Satan and all the other evil spirits, wander through the world, seeking the ruin of souls. <laughs>